Yo, what's good YouTube? J-Ball, we're back with another video. And today, you can see here, I have finished Conquest. Not only just Conquest, but I have finished all the missions for Conquest. And I've got 94 Reggie Jackson and 93 Granderson and 93 Holiday. So, I know lots of you are struggling with these Conquest missions because they're, they're kind of difficult and kind of confusing because there's lots of them. So, I'm just going to go through them and give you guys the easiest and fastest way to go through them and as my phone goes off um in order to get the uh rewards so first off for the pitching rewards there's two of them there is 60 checkouts with lefty starting pitchers and um what's the other one here it is eight wins with breakout series starting pitchers so i'm gonna show you who you need to get first of all this is for your rotation you're gonna need go to breakout Breakout starting pitchers. You're gonna need these two starting pitchers. So Scott Feldman and Betsy. So go ahead and buy them. And these should be your first two uh, pitches in your rotation. So you have one through two. And then your next three pitchers in your rotation um, should not only be lefties, but they should be from the AL Central um, because there's another mission that requires plate appearances from the AL Central. So. Um, might as well just maximize the AL Central pitchers. So like this one, Danny Duffy, lefty, and from AL Central. This is an, I'll show you one more. Um, let's see. You could do Jason Hamill, but he's not a lefty. Um, I'm sure there's lots of them here. Carlos Rodon, yeah, that's another one. So players like those, uh, first off, one and two, you're gonna have Scott Feldman, Feldman and Betsy sold the breakout, and then the next three are gonna be lefties from the AL Central, and then I'll show you guys the next missions. It is from the AL West, I think. Yeah, so ten home runs with All Star Series players. So who you're gonna want to get for this is two players. One of them is kind of expensive, but. Um, it's definitely you need to have him. Uh, Derek Norris for one. You're gonna want to have him as your catcher, and then uh, I just had Derek Norris for a bit, but it's really hard. So you're gonna you're gonna kind of need Andre Ethier to help out Derek Norris, even though he's kind of expensive. But what I did, you just sell him back once you're done. So it's just a temporary like purchase. So uh, and you want to like I sort these out in my lineup, um, like so they're together. So I can I like know which ones are for which missions. So like what I mean by that is, I have Derek Norris and Andre Ethier leading off, and then in the second spot. So those two are the first two people in my lineup, and then uh, the next players I'll show you for the next mission. The next mission you're gonna want to do is the. Um, 10 doubles with hardware series players you see this one so who you're gonna want to get for this one is Chris Coughlin and Jeff Bagwell so these two players are actually not bad they're actually like pretty good players but you're gonna want to get those two players so then I just have them after Norris and Ethereum in my lineup so I you know like stick them all together so it's easy to sort them out. So I have Norris leading off then Ethier. So when whenever those players come up, I know I have to get home runs. And then next up, I have Bagwell and Coughlin. So I remember I need to get doubles with those players. And then next up, you're going to want to buy players for the next mission. I'll show you the next mission. The next mission you're going to want to focus on in your lineup is 50 hits with breakout series players. And there's actually like the most amount of players that you could do with this so and I'll show you also the stadiums at the end like the best stadiums to do these missions but um breakout players you're going to want to get I mean there's a you can like get whoever you want here but who I use that was really good this Jason Jelby I use he's really good so um you're going to want to use him well that's what I would suggest and then also Cole Calhoun in center field or you could do Kevin Pilar Hicks but I had Calhoun and um, Giambi they were good for me um, and I'll show you like the lineup and everything after so then 
after those players so i'll run through it real quick you're gonna have left field or no so the all-star players where you're gonna need home runs you're gonna have Derek norris a catcher and you're gonna have right field andre ethier so you're gonna need home runs with those players and they're gonna be one and two in your lineup then you're gonna have Coughlin in left field and Bagwell at first base so you're gonna need doubles with those players and then you're gonna have um, Giambi at third base and um, Cole Calhoun in center field so you're gonna need uh, hits with those players that's what I used and then you're gonna have second base and shortstop open so what you're gonna want to do for the last mission which is play appearances with AL Central players you're gonna want to buy or not even buy you're just gonna want to use any second baseman or um, shortstop from the AL Central so like Alcides Escobar, Ian Kinsler, Jose Iglesias those players so those are gonna be your last two players of your lineup and then that's gonna be about it and also all your pinch hitters and all your players on the bench make sure they're from the AL Central so I'll probably put up some text on the screen about like the whole lineup and what it should look like because I know this could be kind of confusing but uh, I'm doing the best I can to try to help you guys and um, I'm, I'm gonna go into the stadiums because uh, people have asked me like you know what are the best stadiums for these missions for like the doubles and whatnot but before I do that please uh, hit the like button if this if you enjoy this or this helped you and uh, uh, we're doing pretty well so keep subscribing please it really helps me out if you're new and uh, yeah we're just gonna continue grinding and MLB so the stadiums here I have a list for the best stadiums for you know extra base hits doubles and triples and whatnot are is gonna be Petco actually um, yeah and then AT&T um, where is it Comerica wherever it is Comerica yeah and what else Minute Maid, um, Chase Field, and Coors Field, and Citizen Banks Park. Yeah, I think that's it. So those are all really good stadiums. They have, uh, if you notice, they have all like one, one place in the outfield, like the Giants, Chibbles Alley, and then uh, like um, Chase Field. They have that one section by like in front of the pool. Or it's you know it's really it's really easy to get doubles and whatnot if you hit it that way, so that's what I would recommend for that. And then stadiums that are like you know easy for home runs, uh, you're gonna want to do Miller Park, Great American Ballpark, um, Angel Stadium, what else? Yankee Stadium and Fenway Park. Those are all good. Like you can see Fenway, uh, you know with their um, the big wall in left field so it's really those are the easiest if you want to grind for the home runs and um what i did so let's say you finish uh let's say you finish the home run missions first then just replace those all-star players with players from the al central and then let's say you f you finish the um the hardware players do the doubles with hardware players first then just uh sell those players back and put in players from the AL Central in their spot so just keep putting in AL Central players once you finish the other missions and um, for me the hardest one was the AL Central uh, players one but that's obviously the easiest one it just you know it takes a while and the hardest one like to do might have been the um, the home runs with the NL West players because what you have to do you just have to play rookie versus nine or rookie nine innings for CPU and just uh, power swing with Norris and Ethier and you're gonna get it eventually uh, actually I got like I think six or seven of mine with Norris and the rest with Ethier but the doubles one is really easy the breakout series players it's easy it just takes a little, a little longer um, this one is the first one I did because you just gotta get lucky with getting uh, Feldman and Cecil in your games and then that one was took a while um, that one is really, really easy. Uh, you don't really have to do much for that. And then that's about it. Then you end up getting 93 Granderson, you get 93 Holiday, and 94 Reggie Jackson. So they're all really good. Uh, 
I haven't used them too much, but I have a little. So if you want to see like a review or anything on those cards, let me know. But that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. This helped you guys out. Uh, please, if you're new here, please subscribe. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. And um, like if this helps. And I'll see you guys later. So J Bowler out. Peace. Congratulations Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation